Hi guys, it's Kelly Lenable here and I'm back with another video for Honey Bee Stamps. Today we are going to be using the Rainbow Wishes, um, we're actually going to use the Stamps and Dies, but I didn't know that in the beginning. The Fluttering By um, Stamps, the Outdoor Builder Stencils, and then the um, Double Stitched Polygons. So here I'm including this. This is basically just how I remove the stacked dies. Um, I had seen in Stamp Junkies where somebody had asked they weren't sure how to get them out and I realized I never showed it just because I thought it was kind of common knowledge. Um, this is a wire clipper. I bought it in the jewelry section of my craft store and that works super well for me. Um, you just want to make sure when you're snipping them that after you cut them, you get as close as you can to the edge. Okay, so I have my polygon die cut out here, and I wanted to create um, this look of kind of like a thunderstorm clouds in the background. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using Hero Arts Unicorn Pigment Ink, and I have a blending foam. This is just a, you know, ink blending foam that I would use with any other color. This one I just tape to the bottom of my um, pigment ink, so that way I don't mix it up. Pigment inks do stay wet longer, so just be aware of that. You don't need a ton on your um, foam for it to show up on black paper. And I am just rotating the cloud stencil from this Outdoor Builder set. I started with the largest one in the back and then they will get progressively smaller as I um, flip them over. I super love the way this piece came out. I think it would be awesome for um, like a night sky or a galaxy background. Um, you know, maybe do some super heavy duty black, uh, dark blue, dark purple. Um, distress inking and then do this on top of it. I think that would look wicked cool, so I may try that at a later date. Um, but just working my way down the piece because I wanted there to be, I guess, kind of like the symbolism for this rainstorm, the sunshine, the rainbow, you know, after it's all said and done. Why would I want all of this? Well, um, the last time that we talked, I told you that I was kind of struggling with um, making anything. My my motivation, um, my creative juices were not flowing. And so Eric had suggested maybe um, making things, making cards specifically, thank you cards for people, um, you know, healthcare workers, grocery store workers, um, you know, just anybody out there kind of on the front lines of this whole thing. And maybe with that motivation, it might help me to create. Back to the card. Um, so I wanted there to be some raindrops, um, and in order to create those, I am using Perfect Pearls in the color Perfect Pearls. Also adds a little bit of shimmer, which I'm never mad at. Um, and so um, just going to do that. I picked up very little on the brush because I wanted very fine droplets. I'm going to set that aside to dry because, like I said, pigment inks do take longer to dry than dye inks. And I'm going to um, stamp my pieces parts out. I'm using 80-pound uh, Nina Solar White cardstock and Copic Safe um, ink. Why ink? Why was that word eluding me? Whatever. Um, so I'm going to stamp those out, and then I'm going to Copic color them. Um, nothing super special with the, the Copic coloring. Pretty much I broke everything down to three colors instead of four. Um, but other than that, everything is the same. Lightest to darkest, darkest to lightest. So anyway, he had um, suggested, you know, making with a purpose. Um, and that does seem to be helping. The other purpose that I'm making for is, um, you know, as this extends on, I'm in Ohio. We're currently in a shelter-in-place order. And they just extended that through uh, the end of April. So the next time... The majority of people will be coming out of their houses will be in May, um, and that's if we have a handle on it by then. I'm still working, Eric's still working, um, so we're basically just, you know, going to work and coming home, um, but, you know, not necessarily in the same spot everybody else is. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> um, I kind of wish I was. Uh, the jobs that we have are you know, essential jobs, uh, working for a police department, his much more so than, than mine. Um, but I wish that I could stay home. I wish that I could stay home. My anxiety is extra high on the days that I have to go to work. Um, and it's just mentally exhausting. Um, 
you know, because you're constantly thinking, um, did I wash my hands? Did I wipe down the doorknobs? Did I wipe down the light switches? Did I touch my face? Oh man, I just touched my face. Um, and then, you know, in addition to all of that, worrying about bringing it home, um, worrying about, you know, sanitizing our house to the best of our ability, um, worrying about our loved ones. Um, and so I know there's just a ton of worry going on. So with that being said, um, when I worry, when I get overwhelmed, when my anxiety is in high gear, I have a tendency to spend more time talking to God and more time reading my Bible. Um, now, I know that's not necessarily for everyone. Um, not everyone is a Christian, but I am. So um, that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit today. So if you are not Christian or maybe you have not read the story or maybe it's been a really long time since you read the story, um, a rainbow has a, a has a meaning. Um, basically, in Genesis, um, you most people, when they're kids anyway, have <laughs> heard the story of Noah's Ark and how um, God told Noah to build this ark and to load up all of these animals into the ark with him, his wife, and his um, children. And then, um, you know, load up pairs of each animal, a male and a female, um, all kinds of food. And pretty much Noah had about a year to get his business done, to build this ark. And then the, the purpose of building the ark was because um, God flooded the earth. Now, I know there's a lot of people, again, who are not Christians and who are like, how realistic is that? Um, but if you look at history, uh, even in non-Christian um, cultures, there are documentations of, of, I think it's like around 270 um, different cultures that have documented that there was, in fact, a great flood. Um, so that part of it is, you know, at least also backed up by science. So, um, God had it rain for 40 days and 40 nights and completely flooded the earth, basically wiped out the human race, uh, except for, you know, Noah, the animals that were in this ark. And then after, um, 40 days, Noah sent a dove out and then the dove could not find anywhere to perch, sent him, the dove came back, the, he waited a week, sent the dove back out and it came back with a leaf. Um, so, you know, the, the water had started to recede and then uh, again, a third time and the dove never came back because the water had completely receded. And then after all of this was, uh, said and done and God gave him the okay, um, to release the animals to, to come out of the ark, they, um, God promised him that he would never, um, flood the earth again, that he, he would never wipe out the human race um, so his promise, um, or in the Bible, they call it a covenant, um, was signified by the rainbow. Anytime it says, you know, in the Bible that anytime there's a, a rainbow in the sky, that, um, that's God remembering his promise to never flood the earth again. So they, I love rainbows, period, but then they also obviously have a biblical meaning. So... I really wanted something that was going to be encouraging for someone else. And there is always rainbows after a storm, theoretical storms or literal storms. Um, and so I just really wanted to concentrate on that kind of positive. So other positives that um, I will be looking at are helping small businesses. Right now with the economy shut down, like I said, Ohio is a shelter in place. Um, there are several small businesses that are being shut down that cannot operate. Um, however, there are still some that can. So um, I know larger craft stores um, are, you know, shut down due to these, you know, non-essential businesses being open. However, um, a lot of stamp companies are actually based out of their homes. And so they are still able to ship. You are still able to support them. Now, I understand everybody is in, you know, different positions. Um, but if you can support smaller businesses, 
that would be wonderful, especially in this industry or your own local businesses, support those as well. So on my channel, I'm going to be trying um, to use some companies, products that I really love um, for people that I really love and that I would like to support. I always list um, the products that I've used in the description below. If you have um, the means to do so, please consider you know, supporting your, your stamp companies right now. They're all going to need it. Um, so back to the card. I colored that purple and blue butterfly and I decided to leave it in here just in case you have this set and you want to know how like how I would color it, but I actually didn't end up using it in the final card. For the one here where I did kind of like a three-tone color gradient, uh, I have a little bit of regret about not making the outside of the wings completely black and going with the dark red. Um, it's not bad. I think I would have just liked the black better. Uh, I'm going to add some details with a white gel pen. This is a super great way to mix up any kind of stamps, not even just butterflies, but because adding the details with the white gel pen allow you to kind of add your own detail or your own patterns, you can always get a different look from the same stamps um, each time you use them, which I love and I think is super cool. I'm also going to outline them because you know how I roll. Um, so the other, um, so we're trying to support small businesses. Uh, so I'm going to try to use different um, companies on my channel uh, pretty consistently while we're we're in the middle of this um, with so then that's the a positive what is the other what is the other positive people I had another one that we were going to talk about um, <laughs> nope I've lost it I don't know what happened to it there was another one. Oh, there was a lady who sent me an Instagram this is what this is what it was see my mind's going um there was a lady who sent me a message on Instagram and had asked me, um, wait, I have to go back to the card. <laughs> I hope I don't forget what my point was. Um, so originally this was kind of the idea that I had set up, this idea here. But I could not figure out where to put the sentiment and I didn't really love it. So now enter in the rainbow wishes dies that I really had no intention of using to begin with. Um, they have little clouds in them. I love the little clouds. They cut out a little outline cloud and an inside cloud. I'm going to be using the inside clouds um, and I cut them out of like white glitter paper. If you don't have glitter paper, no sweat, cut them out of white and then use um, like stickles or a glitter pen to go over them and they'll still be super cute and glittery. Here I'm going to stamp this sun and then cut it out with a die. I honestly didn't look. I will look before I link the product. This is um, Hero Art Orange Soda Ink, and I'm not even sure if they still make it because I know they discontinued some of their mid-tones. Here's hoping that they do. If not, I will try to find something um, similar that you could use in case you're looking for it. I just went right over top of it um, with my Copic markers. Now understand Hero Arts ink is not Copic safe, which means when you go over it, the alcohol ink will lighten it, will affect it. It didn't bother me any for this particular um, type of coloring. I just needed it to be, you know, you can't have a rainbow without rain, but you can't have a rainbow without sun either. Um, so I needed, I kind of needed it to fill, you know, to fill in the gaps to make my rainbow. Um, and then I'm going to cut that out. I didn't realize how much white area was left when I was coloring it. So I'm just going to go back over that and then start messing around with um, trying to get everything the way that I want it. Uh, and this is where I ended up deciding to ditch the purple butterfly. And again, I'll just use it on another project. Um, so there was a, a lady who had sent me a message on Instagram and asked me for those people who currently, you know, home, quarantined, um, maybe they worked in the the hospitality industry, maybe they don't have a lot of disposable income, um, if I could use some older sets, um, which I absolutely can. You know, I'm big, I've always been a big fan of stretching my stamps. Now there, I will tell you, there are some um, new releases and blog hops and things like that that are coming up um, that were set in motion far before, you know, illustrators, they're ordering product for spring back in January, you know, so, um, those things can still go on and still provide inspiration to you guys. Um, and again, 
you know, if you have the capabilities. My game plan for this is a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of information about. Um, so before I started doing this, um, you know, YouTube and all that, when I was just a consumer and I was not necessarily a design produ producer, uh, I had a allowance, and my allowance was twenty five dollars per paycheck. And I would say, so I got 50 bucks a month basically to spend on what I wanted. I always wanted to spend it on stamps. Um, and so I would save up the money and I would only go shopping twice a year. So that way, if I had larger purchases, you know, I would save up, you know, $250. And then that would be, um, you know, I would go shopping in fall and in spring because in spring they always release the flowers and I loved them. Um, but then that's how I did it. Now, the way that it currently is, obviously, um, I don't have an allowance. I don't have an allowance anymore. Thank God that's over. Um, but anyway, uh, I will be, so like, let's say I have $100 to spend on stamps. Instead of spending $100 at one store, I'm going to try to spread out the love. So I'm going to try to spend $20 at this store and $20 at this store and $20 at this store because every little bit helps. Um, so if I can spread it out to as many companies as possible to kind of help support them, that's my game plan to do that. I will try to be using older products in case you, um, you know, you can't, currently go shopping or you know maybe you're like me and you have to save up you know your money for the hobbies that you have um so now we're to the putting together of the card so most of this is going to be glued flat uh the sentiment is glued to the polygon as well as the sun um, i just glued them flat and then i'm going to um put everything else on with foam tape um so I went with the sentiment because it was a struggle for me to get one on there and be honest with y'all. I also shared that on Instagram and turns out I'm totally not alone. A lot of people struggle with sentiments. One lady, God love her, um, one lady in fact had sent me a message and she was like, I just looked to see where you put them and then I copy it. And I was like, perfect. The blind leading the blind. <laughs> um, but so just kind of reworking my initial idea and just being adaptable um, you know, we ended up with a card that I do like, and while it is not necessarily what I thought I would have, um, when I started, uh, I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm pretty good with it. It is a little bit different for me. It's a little bit more layered. You let me know what you think. Um, and then I, this is just your friendly neighborhood reminder to be adaptable, especially in the current times. Um, I think we're all going to have to accept, even after this is over, that life will probably never be exactly the same as it was. It will be different. And what do we know about different? Different doesn't mean bad. Different just means different. <laughs> um, so here with the, the last little cloud, I realized, don't mind my quarantine hair there. Basically, it's just a curly top knot. It's pretty much, I've, I've pretty much given up any effort of what I look like walking around like a, a bag lady is pretty much where I'm at. Um, mostly the makeup front is because I don't, when I wear eyeliner, mascara, stuff like that, I have more of a tendency to touch my eyes because my mascara is shedding or my eyeliner is smearing or whatever. So in order to just avoid that out of habit, I haven't been really wearing any makeup. And um, my hair, I'm trying to embrace my, my God-given curly hair, which is um, kind of a challenge as well. But anywho, um, so this, this is the whole card. I'm just going to put some shimmer with uh, the clear uh, Wink Estella on the rainbow and then a little bit on the butterfly. And then that's it. I'm going to call it. So I will hopefully be seeing you guys um, a little bit more often. And uh, I appreciate you watching all the videos. I would like you to pray for each other and keep safe, stay in your houses, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.